Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of August 2018. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings, but you know, whatever comes up, comes up. I'd like you to keep in mind that if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Sagittarius. Okay. So there's a lack of mental strength. Okay, there is. There's a lack of the ability to master your emotions in some arena. Okay, with the King of Cups reversed and the Chariot reversed, somebody is not mastering their emotions. They're not able to control their feelings as well as they should. Okay, and I know that's not the best way to start at a reading, but the very first card and the middle card, this is the whole basis of your reading, the middle card, and this is the very first card. Both of these cards say that somebody isn't able to control their, their feelings. You know, um, you may be um, overly emotional, or you may be, there may be a lack of willpower, there may be a, a loss of self. Okay, maybe that's how you're feeling at this time. There is some sort of perhaps even addictions at play that are taking over. There's some sort of manipulation. There's some sort of lies. There's some sort of obs obsession. And, you know, sometimes uh, ego can get in the way. Just saying, I mean, this is what the devil brings in. The devil brings in things that don't really help you in the long run. They don't. And it feels like you have to sever, sever some ties with some sort of addiction so that you can become whole again. You know, we do have an addiction down here, too, with the moon card. So there's, there's some sort of addiction that is in the way of your own happiness. I'm not sure what this is. I feel like right now you're going through some sort of power struggle. Um, you, you may be going through some sort of conflict within yourself. It could be within yourself. It could be with another person that is, is causing you to probably retreat. You know, you're probably wanting to retreat at this time. You know, you may not be getting what you deserve because you have to give. You have to, you have to give, um, I'm not saying that you don't. Okay, but this is there's a lack of give and take here. There's a lack of being able to give, and it looks like emotionally to to feel emotionally in a situation. There's a lot of escapism as well. So I think that somebody that is watching this may wanting to maybe wanting to escape um, the reality of a situation with the moon card reversed, trying to mask their pain, their feelings, their hurt, their anger with some sort of addic addiction and I'm and, and you know I don't like to to do a reading like this and I love you guys I really love Sagittarius so please don't take this the wrong way but I feel like right now there's a lack of of somebody taking action to to better their lives and, and if you don't take action then you know things don't change you have to look this devil energy in the eye and you have to restore control Nobody's going to do it for you. If you don't take the action, somebody ain't taking action. This Knight of Wands is a Sagittarius, Leo, 
or Aries, okay? Could be any other sign, but I'm just saying it represents a fire sign typically, usually, not always. Anyway, you have to take action to restore control in your life. You can free yourself at any time from this whatever it is that is bringing you down. You can. You can. But you have to take the action to do it. You do. Nobody's going to do it for you. And somebody isn't. Somebody is not moving forward. They're not They're not changing their direction. The chariot is reversed. If it was upright, that means you're headed in the right direction. You're taking action. These two cards tell me that somebody isn't taking action. And if you don't take action, if you continue to escape reality, you're not with addictions or whatever this is, you're not going to get what you deserve. It's time to replan. It's time to come up with a new plan. This is the outcome card. This is where you take a time out. Maybe you go on a retreat. Maybe you do whatever you have to do to replan your future, to refocus, to bring back control of your life. You come up with a plan B because whatever is happening or has been happening isn't progressing you forward. You have to find a new plan, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I, I can't. I can't pretend that this isn't, that this is somebody else, okay? You guys have to own up to your own demons, your own toxins. You have to take action to free yourself from that. You're sabotaging yourself by not taking action. Some, some ties that you are connected to that are holding you back need to be severed. That's all there is to it. But nobody's going to do it for you. You have, And this is, you, you have to master your emotions to do that. You have to find strength. The chariot card is strength. It's finding the force within. Somebody, it's reversed, is not finding the force within to fight their own demons. You have to find the force to fight your demons. That's all there is to it. This right here is follow your dreams. Also, follow your intuition. This is, this is wanting love. This is an offer of love. You want love? You want to offer love to somebody? You have to take action. You have to fix yourself. You have to fix your life. You have to fix your emotions. Anger is an issue. I feel as though you're withdrawn, you're probably detached, feeling a little cold-hearted at this time. You have to you have to heal from that before love can come in. It's not fair to to involve another person if you're angry at the world or if you haven't faced your own demons yet. Your challenge is giving. This is your challenge position. Six of Pentacles reversed. You have to give to yourself. You have to take action. You have to accept reality. You have to accept it. And I can see that somebody here doesn't want to. They don't want to own up to their part in this. And, and please don't point the finger at another person because it's not another person. This is about you, Sagittarius. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm trying to help you. Living in a space of escapism is not going to get you anywhere. It's not. Blaming another person for your downfall, that doesn't get you anywhere either. It doesn't. When you are blaming another person, you're escaping your ownership of the, of the situation. You have the power to change your life. You have the power to free yourself from any demons, from anything that doesn't serve you at any time. You have the power, but you're not using it. You can hate the reader if you want. That's okay. I love you guys. You know I do. But I, I can't, I can't, I will not pretend I am. 
just so I don't have it in me. Uh, sorry. Um, what? You could be dealing with somebody that's bringing you down. You know, and, and if you let them bring you down, then hey, you let them. You have to have faith. Maybe you need, um, maybe you need counseling. I'm sorry. Maybe you need, this is a counselor. It is. This is a counselor. This is, this could be, uh, like I said earlier, a retreat. Maybe it's time to go get some help. For some, some people, I don't know who's watching this. There's some serious addictions here. And it's time. It's time. For some of you, you just need to believe in yourself. You need to restore the faith. You need to follow your own path with conviction. You absolutely need to listen to your inner guide. And more than anything I can really say is believe in yourself, believe in yourself, believe in yourself. It's time for you to deepen your practice in regards to who you are, who you want to be. I see that you guys are an old soul. I know that. I do. Many of you Sagittariuses. Sun sign. I was urged to say that. I don't know why. Our old souls. This is a, a is a is a life lesson in this lifetime to face your demons. That starts with believing in yourself and listening to your inner guide. And walking away from situations that don't serve you. Severing ties with the demons, the toxic situations in your life. And toxic situations can be anything. I think there's some drinking going on for some of you. Some alcoholism that is totally masking. It's, it's, it's causing, and I'm getting the goosebumps now. I don't know if you can see them. It is alcoholism for, for, for a lot of you that is hindering your progress. Serious demon. There's an opportunity for happiness and love if you can find the strength that you're lacking. Lacking strength. You know, this is this is somebody who sees the glass as half empty instead of half full negative this is a negative person this one is too now please don't point the finger at another person if you don't think positive you won't get positive okay this is this is you it all makes complete sense you guys want happily ever after you want this relationship as we all do but you have to think positive. You have to be optimistic, not pessimistic. Pessimism, it gets you nowhere. And that's where these power struggles lie. This is where the tug of war is. What are you going to choose? You're going to choose the negative or you're going to choose the positive? I suggest you choose the positive because the negative is going to get you nowhere. This page of wands reversed is, is a Debbie Downer. Who wants to be around a Debbie Downer? Nobody. You guys are probably pointing the finger at me right now and saying it's you. Fine. Go ahead. That's escaping reality, not owning it.
I think that there's a level of, of confusion and indecision about how you can find the strength to overcome some addiction or toxic situation. There's a lack of wish fulfillment. And I do believe for some of you it has to do with some sort of addiction. It doesn't have to be alcoholism. It can be anything. It can be eating. It could be spending. It could be anything. But there's a lack of abundance if you don't believe in yourself. If you don't have faith. If you don't seek guidance. If you don't get whatever needs to happen. Maybe it's counseling. Maybe you need help from another person at this time. There's a lack of wish fulfillment if you don't find the strength to take action. You, I'm sorry, have to find strength and take action. It comes from within. You think about an alcoholic, for example. This is just an example. I went to the store the other day and I had these, these guys standing outside. And they were looking for money, you know, whatever. For, their, for some rehab place, you know, and I stopped and I talked to him, gave him all the cash in my wallet. Anyway, um, one of the things they said to me was, you know, I'm not, but I know somebody in my life that is an alcoholic, really, really, really bad, really bad. It's destroying their life, destroying their life and their family. It's just causing huge havoc in their life. Huge. And this person can't go to work. It's just a mess because he's an alcoholic. It's, he's a complete wreck. He doesn't want help. Like they said, he has to want it. He has to take action. We can't help him unless he takes the first step. You have to take the first step. Whether it's alcoholism or life changes, whatever it is. If you want your life to change, you have to find the strength the willpower, the force within you to change your life. Somebody's not finding it. Not optimistic. No confidence. I'm here to help you guys. I'm not here to bring you down. I'm not. If you're looking for happily ever after and love, you have to take steps to, to remove the toxins from your life. Remaining detached and cold and isolated and unemotional. Isn't going to get you anywhere. Seek guidance. Seek help. If you can't find the strength to do it yourself. There's an opportunity for love. For those of you that can find the strength to sever ties with your demons. Sever ties with your demons. We're going to get an angel romance card because this was a, this is what I did for the other readings and this is supposed to be a love reading. You have to love yourself. You have to love yourself. Your love life is being affected by children. Whatever that means, I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit too much. And maybe that's why you're you're self-medicating. I don't know. And I'm not saying everybody's self-medicating. And but food is there's so many ways of self-medicating. There is. Oh, did you see it fly? Interesting. Remember I said to seek guidance? There it is.
offer your support to someone experience the joy of serving others this isn't just a, this is this goes the other way around if you ask me ask support from somebody accept support from somebody allow allow yourself to be supported please I know that is not the reading that you were looking for, but the only one that can change it is you. We're going to get you an extra card. I did not get this for any other sign, but I feel the need. I might even get you another one because, you know, this isn't the kind of message I want to give, but I can't, I can't change it. The only one that can change it is you. Some... Sagittarius needs to hear this message, obviously. Will not resonate with all of you. Somebody needs to hear this message. Mm. Wow. Oh, we all know what that means, don't, don't we? Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Do you understand that? Do you? Don't let it make you angry. Anything that you failed at, don't let it bring you down. And you have. We all fail. Every single person. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Think of it as the glass half full, not half empty. We're going to get you one more because I think that's what we need to do. Oh my goodness. From Archangel Michael, believe and trust. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. Please, please. Right now, there's a lack. Do not be afraid to ask for help. Talk to you later.